Welcome to this tutorial on installing the JInitiator plugin for Oracle Clinical. To install the JInitiator plugin for Oracle Clinical, open an Internet Explorer browser. Type in the URL to the Oracle Clinical application as provided to you by your administrator. You might get this warning that the site is not secure. It's alright to overlook this because you're using an internally signed digital certificate. Click on Go to Web page. you should be able to reach the launch page of Oracle Clinical. To be able to log in into Oracle Clinical for the first time, you need to install a small plugin called JInitiator or the Java Runtime Environment plugin. Click on Install JRE plugin. Click on More Information, Continue to this web page. It should give you a prompt to download the JInitiator plugin which is required for logging in into Oracle Clinical for the first time. You can choose to run this plugin directly and install it, or you can choose to save it. And in this case, I can save it as the plugin to my desktop. Now, I already have this plugin downloaded, so I'm not going to save it again. Click on Cancel, and once you've downloaded this plugin to your preferred location, close your browser and go to the location of the download. In this case, I've downloaded to my desktop. I can see that the plugin's been downloaded here. Double click on plugin to initiate the installation. You'll get a prompt stating that you're liking to install the Java SE runtime environment update 7, update 45 plugin. Click on yes to accept that. No customization is required for the installation process. Simply click on install and the plugin will install on your computer. Once the plugin has been installed, click on Close. You might, be, you might get a browser window that opens up, specifying that the version of Java that you've installed is an older version, and it might give you a prompt to update it. Do not update the version of Java because Oracle Clinical runs with a specific version of Java Runtime Environment, which is version 7, update 45. If you update your version of Java, then Oracle Clinical will stop working. Close this window as we do not wish to install or update the version of Java. Now you're ready to log in into the Oracle Clinical application. Open an Internet Explorer browser again. You might get a prompt to enable the plugin in the browser as an add-on. Click on Enable to do that. Now navigate to the URL of the Oracle Clinical application. Click on more information and go to the web page or the launch page. And you're ready to launch and log in into the application. Click on the launch button. First, a small window opens up, which is basically maintaining connectivity between your web browser and the application server. If this window is closed, then you will not be able to connect to the Oracle Clinical application and be able to perform functions within it. So you should always minimize this window, but never close it. Another prompt also shows up which specifies a security certificate warning because it is using a previous version of Java. It's all right to accept this. Click on continue. And any future prompts that come, accept them and click on run. Once you've done those steps, you will get the login applet to the Oracle Clinical application. The login applet is basically uh, utilizing the Java runtime environment and gives you a secure page to log in into the Oracle Clinical application and conforms with the 21 CFR Part 11 compliance. Enter your username, your password, and the database name provided to you by the administrator. Once you've entered that, you can click on the Connect button to connect to the Oracle Clinical instance. It verifies your username and password against the respective database name that you're wanting to connect to. And if verified, you're able to connect to the Oracle Clinical application. As you can see here, we've now logged in into the Oracle Clinical application and are able to see its various user interface elements. This completes this tutorial on installing the JNA Shader plugin.